welcome back to Dicebreaker, where today we are playing one of my favourite RPGs of all time. It's only ever Blaze in the Dark, Oof. the game that you have been asking us to play pretty much since the channel launched. Yes. So, because it's the holidays, we got you a treat. We're going to play Blaze in the Dark right now. Um, I am joined uh, by m lovely colleagues, as, as ever. I mean, Wheels and Lowlies are here, obviously, but also we have staff writers <laughs> from Dicebreaker. We've got Mian and Sarah. Uh, so the whole family except for Matt. Except for Matt. <laughs> oh. uh, who Dad's is, on who is not with us. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to give you a brief overview of the city of Duskwell, where we are playing. Um, if you're not familiar with Blaze in the Dark, pause this video and watch my video on why you should play it, because it's a good video and I want you to watch it. And if you can't be asked to do that, you'll pick it up. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll be absolutely fine. Uh, I'm going to explain Duskwell to you, then you're going to introduce your characters, and then we will dive straight into it. Duskvol is a grimy, dirty city um, that is basically clinging on to existence on the shore of uh, Akaros, I believe. Yeah, uh, that's where I'm from. It's after there basically there was a cataclysm um, a long time ago. That cataclysm shattered the sun. The sun <laughs> doesn't really exist <laughs> anymore. It's kind of just a bunch of fragments in the sky that glow a bit at dawn. Um, but even in daylight, basically, this is a grimy city and you basically need a lamp to get around because it is just ashes and criminals everywhere. Every single inch of this city is controlled by one faction or another. Some of them criminal, some of them are, you know, governmental. Um, either way, they all have their allies, their enemies, their wants, their wishes, their strengths and their weaknesses. You are Duskfall's newest criminal gang. So we are basically going to run a session which hopefully will fit in two scores where you will go and do some form of scheme in order to advance your, your sort of plans in the city. Um, and we will sort of go from there and you'll have to deal with the consequences of your actions. One thing to note, I should have mentioned this at the top really, Duskfall is absolutely teeming with ghosts. They're everywhere. Ooh. In fact, the city is ringed by a wall of <laughs> lightning to keep out more ghosts. Because if this wall of lightning ever fell, all of the ghosts would come in, everyone would die. Like Dust Morrowind. Yeah, Dust like would cease to exist. <laughs> so ghosts, they're a big thing. Um, and because of that, death taken quite seriously in Dust Bowl. There's, um, There is a group called the Spirit Wardens, who basically whenever somebody dies in the city, they go collect the body and they destroy it so that the spirit cannot be released on, on the citizens mm. of Duskfall. So basically, any time anybody dies, a team is dispatched to pick them up straight away. If you mess with these guys too much, they will come for you and they are absolutely terrifying. Do, do we need to destroy bodies then? <coughs> I mean, you can just leg it, sort of. Yeah. Um, yeah, because the, their destruction process is basically one of... Uh, it, it, it's destroyed electroplasmically, uh, which stops the ghost from emerging. You can hide the body if you want to try and sort of keep the ghost. So there's actually quite a... Genuinely, there's quite a risk <laughs> yes. trade in this, in Dust Bowl. It takes three days for it to emerge, so you have to, be, you have to run from them for three whole days. Um, and then a ghost comes out, and ghosts are typically vengeful and awful. Cool. Can you like, put them in a jar, like a little... Uh... You, some, some know how. Uh, yeah, it's, it's possible <laughs> that one of our characters <gasps> might know a thing or two Ooh. about ghostly ghosts. <laughs> ghosts? <laughs> <laughs> so I think we can safely assume it's not me. Um, it's but, not me. Uh, with that, I think it would be a good idea if everybody introduced their character. So oh. sort of give me your alias and what playbook you're playing <clears> by, because that sort of informs what sort of things you can do. Um, and then as much, as much or as little information as you would like to share. Well, should we start with the Ghost Whisperer, then? Oh, gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, I am Creepy Jack. Um, <laughs> that is, uh, you know, that, that's my name. My friends also call me Creepy Jack. <laughs> and uh, I come from the underworld, surprisingly enough. So you come from a land down under? <gasps> the, <laughs> the uh, not the literal Hades okay. underworld, but the, okay. uh, the, the criminal underworld. Uh. Uh, yes. Um, and I'm a ghost whisperer, which means effectively that I'm like a ghost wrangler. I can speak to ghosts, I can have a go at <coughs> commanding them, although that won't necessarily work in my favour. Um, and yeah, I'm just a little bit of a weirdo. Um, you know, I collect a lot of things, I sell off trinkets here and there. I've got a lot of quite like CD connections uh, that I kind of know. I'm a bit, a bit of a free roamer, not really attached to any particular cause. I'm just kind of in it for myself. 
pulled along by my curiosity, which I'd probably say is maybe one of my biggest flaws. Quite reckless, a bit impulsive, um, and a little bit sort of disassociated because I'm very fond uh, of seeking oblivion because I quite enjoy going into a, a stupor every now and again to get away from basically all of the ghosts that I see all of the time, mm, which uh, <laughs> is, is a little bit strange. Mm. So, yep, I'm Creepy Jack. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, I've, had a, I've had a problem with the ghosts, and I wonder whether you could talk to it. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Oh, what? How long have you been hiding that for? Oh my oh, god! Oh, wow. <laughs> I was wondering why you were bulging at the jumper, but I didn't want to say anything. It's like, oh, your mic is huge. <laughs> um, oh I can't god. guarantee how long I will wear this willingly. <laughs> None of us knew this was happening. Hiya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my name is Gracie Fingers. <laughs> Greasy fingers. <laughs> I'm a spider, uh, which is like a devious mastermind. Um, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, um, I like to hatch schemes. Or eggs. <laughs> She's an egghead. <laughs> and um, I know people, I kind of have contacts. Um, around the place, um, I I'm sort of a, a creepy old man <laughs> with like a big old coat and long, presumably greasy fingers and like a big beard, mm -hmm. and uh, I have sort of lots of observatory brain power, which I support people with, uh, and. I may or may not have a group of urchins. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can have you can have a. Oh, oh your group of five urchins. We discussed this, didn't we? They're the elves. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, All good. Yeah, that's greasy fingers. All right. Well, um, so far, we have a we have a group of scoundrels who exclusively sound like items from the meat liquor menu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, absolutely. Let's see what's. Uh, well, I'm Mad Dog Charlie. Yep, first it's, name. It's, but no, no, yep. no, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. That's oh. not my alias. Oh, sorry. That's oh. my that's my actual name. Oh my god, you're that is my Mad to tell Dog. Us your name. First name Mad Dog, second name Charlie. But most call most call me Nook and Cranny, um, <laughs> yeah. due to my abilities to fit into small faces. Um, I'm a lurk. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I didn't just choose that because of how funny it sounds to say, um, uh, which basically means that I'm like an infiltrator. I can I can sneak around and dig yeah. into the shadows and all this that. This is a game where everybody is playing a rogue. Let's face it, but mm -hmm. lurks are the most roguey of rogues. Basically, Ooh. I am pure rogue. Um, I come from the underworld as well. I was a petty thief, a bit of a burglar, mm -hmm. but now um, now I've. <clears throat> You know, join this new up and coming gang to see what goes on. Uh, I usually wear a hooded jacket and some eel skin trousers. Yes. Ooh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was treating you there. Oh, they're, they, uh, they're surprisingly odorless, which is good because otherwise it would kind of ruin my hiding ability. <laughs> um, also, I was born in Akros. I've been here since day. Yeah. Since yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Since day, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you show me a map so I can say which district I'm from. <laughs> Uh, okay. Hello, my name is Elf. Uh, I am a human Christmas elf. Um, I am good at things that elves are good at, like tinkering and being joyful and having a good time. Um, I am part of this group uh, by accident. I don't realise we're doing anything bad. Um, oh! So, so pure. I'm, I honestly think we're doing things for Christmas, <laughs> but I guess that's probably not the case. Uh, and I come from the North Pole, whatever that might be in this place. Um, Where is the tundra? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Dagger Isles. Yeah. Which actually, no joke, is basically Ireland in this. Oh, well, there you go. Um, yeah, and I used to work in, well, well, I still do, I work in a workshop. As you might workshop. <laughs> a very special <laughs> workshop. Uh, it is the final month of the year. Day uh, months in this uh, city have uh, thirty no sixty days to them. Oh, Little wow. fun fact. Uh, and there are only six months in the year. It is uh, evening. It is the hour of chains. You have all met in uh, what is now becoming sort of your local pub. It's called the Whole Hog. 
you are in, where are you, where are you based again? Oh, we're based in Night Market. Night Market, that's right. We, so, have, a, we have our base in the sewers. It is a Christmas market. <laughs> but we slip out every now and again, <laughs> if you will. Yeah, it's very cozy, you know. Is it at a stall that selling little trinkets? In the Night Market, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah and mostly drugs, like weapons that you're fairly sure are included <laughs> on police reports in the Blue Coats offices and stuff like that. <laughs> Sugary of, sweets. Lots of interesting looking candies being sold. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> anyway, you are in the whole hog. Um, you have been sort of catching up with one another as you seek to make your fortunes as Duskfall's biggest, well, newest gang. Here are some things that you have uh, discovered about what's going on in the city from your contacts. Uh, there is a gang called the Red Sashes. You are you, you know them well. They operate um, out of. Uh, I think Char Hollow. It doesn't really matter. Actually, they're not fixed. It doesn't matter. Anyway, there is a, a, a gang called the Red Sashes. These are famous Iruvian sword fighters, and they are organising a parade through Crowsfoot, which is another district of Dustball. Oh, a parade! Uh, the Crows, who are the gang who lay claim to all of Crowsfoot, are understandably not happy about this. Um, you are in your in night market. Um, you will all be very aware of, of not only the the train station Gaddock rail station, but also you're very, very close to the wall of lightning that surrounds the city. Um, the people who maintain this wall of lightning, as anybody who lives in Duskfall knows, uh, are called the Sparkwrights. They are going to have themselves a Christmas party in Gaddock rail station, uh, because the trains are fairly infrequent in and out of Duskfall because of the horrible wasteland that surrounds it. Uh, basically, they can afford to shut down the station for a day and they're going to have a big old party. Um, there is another gang called the Grinders. These are basically like butchers <coughs> turned crims. Uh, they are receiving some form of shipment by sea in the docks. And the Bill Hooks are uh, another gang. They are um, they are going to be actually performing an act of charity and giving out care packages and toys to the citizens of Night Market because tomorrow is the winter solstice. Um, but just because there's a public holiday coming up doesn't mean you have to stop being criminals. <coughs> yeah. So that's just some basic options of what you can do. You now just basically decide between you what you fancy doing. You can dictate to me what the score is and then I will run with it. <coughs> Straight away, if they're having a Christmas party in the train station, not only does it sound like a good laugh where you probably, you know, shimmy a few points, but also that means that maybe nobody's looking at the vaults. They might have eggnog. Exactly that. Lots of tasty eggnog, which we can put in our stomachs, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, right. It'll be pretty lights, there'll be nice music, yeah. we'll have a dance. Yeah, lots of distracting things, yeah, oh, that's oh, right. I've got to ask though, is eggnog all they're gonna have? Will there be more? Oh, surely they'll have, I don't know, drinks of some some description, pies. Oh, buns. What, what are their meat, oh, meat pies? Exactly. And garlic punch. I'm sure there'll be plenty of punches, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent. Um, it's as simple as this. You've now got your score. You are going to the ball in Gaddock train station, um, and you're going to presumably try and rob the spark right blind. Yep. So we know what the target is, Gaddock railway station. Now we have to decide how you're going in. Is it is this assault, deception, stealth, occult, social, or transport? Social. <laughs> yeah, to be to be fair, I mean, so social scores are like negotiations, bargaining, bargaining tools, persuasion. Uh, deception would be luring, tricking, and manipulating. Uh, stealth is trespassing unseen. You don't all have to take the same route. It's just the main way the gang is trying to infiltrate. Are you can try and talk your way in. Are you can try and sneak your way in. Are you can fight your way in. Listen, Elf, uh, we don't actually have tickets for this party, right? But I heard on the streets that they're selling some at the back, back where nobody looks. You know, right at the back, where the back doors are, there aren't guarded. Apparently you can get some tickets there, they're just lying around. and then We, we could can try go... and go through the chimney if they've got a chimney. We could try and go through the chimney, exactly that, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, think, I think that we should go for the discount tickets at the back. We're yeah. very special guests. Exactly and I think that. that will be fitting for our stature. Perfect. So mm. it's stealth then. Mm. Yeah? All right. Now we do the engagement roll. This is the only time I will be rolling dice. <gasps> unless I'm doing a fortune roll. Is there going to be a wedding? Give me a fistful of d6, please. Oh, it's going on! Uh, okay, so we take 1d6 for sheer luck, then we take plus 1d for each major advantage. Hang on. 
So here we go. Is this operation particularly bold or daring? Uh, it's pretty standard, right? I mean, we're all quite sneaky, aren't we? Sort of I think we're quite that. daring. I mean, some of us are. <laughs> It feels, it feels like quite standard to our general MO. Okay, then, so, no extent. minus die. It's not overly complex or contingent on many factors, so you get to keep this die. Does this plan's detail expose the vulnerability of the target or hit them where they're weakest? I think it's fair to say that they're going to be distracted by having a lovely party. Oh, yeah. mm. So I'm going to give you another d6 for that. Be drunk, Can any of your friends or contacts provide aid or insight for this operation? Yes. <laughs> Go on, ah. <laughs> oh, I have a certain group. Of individual. You're going to use the the urchin. Yes, Fine. my urchin. That's another d6. <laughs> are there any uh, are there any rivals or enemies interfering in this operation? No, you've not actually been noticed by any other criminal factions right now, which is with that, with that rubbish. <laughs> we have paid off just to just so you know, it's on the sheet. Oh, yeah. we, we have paid off the local night market hooligans, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay. Don't actually know what they're called, but I think it came my coins. So uh, it's uh, hooligans means they don't like it. Don't not like us. <laughs> are there any other elements you want to consider? Um, no, not really. I think that's fine. So I'm going to roll these dice now, and basically, oops, the, the highest result determines what kind of position you're in when we cut straight to the action, because there is no planning ahead in this. Any time any one of you can call a flashback and plan in reverse. So it'll be like, flashback to the pub. Listen, if we get challenged, you sneak past an actual blah, 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 I'll sock him or whatever. So... That is a six. You are Ooh. in a controlled position yeah. when the action starts. So we're going to cut straight to. Were well, you going to go down the chimney? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay. So laughs> the rest of you have managed to sneak all the way to the back door um, of Gaddock Rail Station. It doesn't seem to be guarded. Uh, you've just popped the door open and nobody seems able to see you. Uh, so you can, you're pretty certain you can just slip right in. You are actually, in fairness, you found a likely chimney and you're shimmying your way down. You have basically made it to the bottom of the chimney. You're kind of upside down like some form of terrifying festive spider. <laughs> and you're looking out. Um, and I basically like it, you see like it's, it. a, it's a very uh, cheerful party, actually. The room is suffused with the glow from uh, electroplasmic lights. So it's kind of gold with a slight tinge of green at the edges. Um, people are circulating, uh, not so much with trays of canapes or anything. They're, they're just people going around with... Massive like beer hall trays of mugs just full of booze. Delicious. There are people sitting sitting around with like Toby jugs uh, of moonshine. There are people basically in the process of getting absolutely battered. Most of them are common workers, but um, you see some people dressed sort of and holding themselves with a more refined air. There are clearly some fairly influential people from the Spark Rights at this party. Go. Um. Am I still in the chimney? Yes. Okay, I'd like to like shimmy myself out like butt first, <laughs> so that if anyone sees me, it looks like I'm looking into the chimney. Yeah, you know of me? course. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that right. makes sense. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, you can just you can just do that. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's that's me. Okay. But first, you land on the floor. No one seems to have noticed your butt. And You're now just standing in a party. And I grab a a drink as somebody walks past me. Are you not covered in soot because you've been going down the chimney? You're pretty filthy, but in yeah. fairness, most Everyone people in the hospital are. Yeah. I forgot to ask you, um, how heavy are you carrying? So Ooh, if you go yeah. in, uh, if you go in light, um, it's you know like concealed weapons. Medium, uh, which is kind of standard, you've got some concealed stuff in your jackets because everyone wears long trench coats in dusk roll because it's cold. Heavy, you are obviously going for a fight. I'm I'm light. light you going in light? Yeah. Okay. Um, I say this because you don't have to tell me what you're carrying. Anytime you want to produce an item, like a weapon or whatever, you just take it off on your sheet. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's basically how many times we can do that. Yes. Yeah. So you get five for a normal load. I'm, I'm normal. OK. So am I. <laughs> I'm normal too. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nice to lie to your friends. <laughs> so, so is everyone going normal except for uh, it's a lightweight over here. Yeah, except, for lightweight. Green, uh, except for Nook and Cranny. Nook and Cranny. Cranny. That's where he keeps his weapons. Have <laughs> <laughs> right. a find him there, mate. Old Lurky Turkey. Old Lurky Turkey. <laughs> 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 if you can give inspiration, surely you would at this point. <laughs> yeah, inspiration doesn't exist in this one. Sadly. Mm. Uh, yeah, so that's you're standing there having a, a mug of something. It tastes a bit bitter to you. You're like... Yes, she continues drinking. You're sneaking in? Yeah. Um, let's, let's have a little look around. What, what, what can we see? What's... 
Um, so, there, like I say, it's a lot of people just sort of around getting pissed. Um, there is sort of an access room where you see some people who are obviously working as hired, uh, like wait staff are kind of puttering in and out, coming out with the aforementioned big trays of booze. There is also a very large train that is sort of just waiting by the docks, um, by the docks at the platform, sorry. Um, They're going to push it into the sea. <laughs> 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 um, it Light is a champagne bottle. It is, uh, yeah. God willing. Um, <laughs> there are uh, basically, uh, this train is like heavily armoured and it's because it, it has to go through the Deathlands, like which aren't named for fun. Uh, this is a, like a really, it looks like a bullet train from Mad Max or something. Mm -hmm. um, and as you sort of look, you see one man kind of grab hold of the sliding door to a carriage and kind of. <laughs> Close it, dusts his hands, and walks off to join the party. How effective is this? Is this hand dusting? <laughs> is it a case of just? He's just so much dust. That it, it's you. It's more of a just sort of like it's out of habit. He's not. He's he's still absolutely filthy. Mm. But before the door closed, he saw some crates of things in there. It's clearly been, clearly been yeah. loaded up for a, a journey tomorrow or later on tonight. I heard there's some interesting cargo they get out to the Deathlands. Yeah. Very interesting. Well, I'm just wondering. I mean, obviously we discussed this before, but uh, well, <laughs> remind me, are we um, are we trying to rob a train or are we trying to get into like the you know where the the this, coffers this are? This would actually be a great time to, to call this a flashback. Just be like, flashback. You're back in the yeah. pub now. Well, I'm, a, I'm here too. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a man of simple pleasures, and uh, I would I would say that I see this more as an opportunity. Let's we, we, we take a look and see what opportunities are available for us at this time. Well, we know they're going to have some kind of cash there, right? So if all else if all else fails, we can look for some at, at the very least a register. You know what I mean? It might be the case. Oh. That most of their money is hidden in all that delicious boom. Crates of wine. Liquors. Knickers. Do we have any contacts in that field? Uh, 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 uh. I'm not. I'm not especially interested in wine. But what I am interested in is I've heard there's some very strange things inside that building. Curious, strange things. And I would very much be interested in just having a look around, getting a feel for the place, and perhaps uh, seeing if I could talk to some of my uh, more spectral friends, shall we say, to uh, see what they might be keeping hidden there, whether it's in the booze, in the walls, or under the floors. Oh, your special would... friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, my not, not you, friends. love. My friends who have recently passed, shall we say. Would you reckon? As they are being dead and what we've not, that they'd be in the basement. I mean, I feel that's a bit ghost racist. <laughs> they live underground. Well, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> but uh, they could be anywhere. But yeah, as I as I say, my curiosity has been piqued. There's going to be some influential people there, and I suspect there might be something special for us in the basement, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I reckon <laughs> let's go underground. Underground, that is. <laughs> Uh, and let's have a little look around, see what we might find. My, I suggest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a very mighty far idea that you both yes. Whereas I'm not really the type to go sneaking around. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's oh, yeah. going to get twatted, aren't he? <laughs> However, <laughs> I have certain contacts who may be able to search a few pockets of individuals as well as all that booze and wine Are you talking about the elves? Now there's an idea. Okay, so, um, me and I want you to make me a social check. Uh, this might be, I mean, so basically you call what you're rolling in this game. I mm. don't tell you. Yeah. Uh, but I want you to make a social check. It would, like, traditionally it would be something like consort okay. to basically to, to get the, the elves to... <clears throat> Basically, this will roll to determine how well they do at pickpocketing. Okay. Over the course of this. So, what do I need to? You got two. So you roll two, two dice. If you got two in consort, you roll two dice, and then just tell me what your highest result is. Ooh, five. five. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, 
Yeah, there. Okay, so that's a success, but with a minor complication. Um, so we snap back to the action. Um, <laughs> you are now in the party. You sort of see. It's beautiful. You're like, oh, what a dance, because you see people just mm. getting getting like tanked. There's lots of booze free flowing, and you can see your little minions just kind of doing their work, quietly cutting purses. Mm. You do see one of them getting caught, basically, okay. like a man's like, oh, and like backhands the kid, grabs him by the scruff of his neck, and just hurls him out of the station. <laughs> So you're down. A, you're down a. a oh yeah, a, yeah, you can't that one. Like, Expendable goods. So <laughs> worry about it. Yeah. So uh, that's what you have seen, mm. um, and yeah, basically, like you. I tell you what, because you basically decided that you were going to keep an eye out for the basement. You are pretty certain that uh, the doorway I mentioned, where mm -hmm. servants are coming in and out, will lead to the basement mm. fairly easily, because the basement is not normally. Uh, accessible to people. It's like the old, uh, oh, St Pancras station. Mm. Like all the under stuff is just storage. Mm. Okay. Question. Yes. Can I see a dumb waiter? <coughs> I mean, none of them will be particularly intelligent. <laughs> um, yeah, it's more of it's more of like a freight lift for the station. But yes, you can see one. Easy access. Uh, do do we know where that goes down? Well, I mean, if it's going down, then we're, we're going in the right direction, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 I, I definitely agree with that, but uh, I don't I don't really like closed spaces. They're a bit... Well, it's sort of like I'm getting a bit nervous, but I will... I will, I will I sort do. of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I like pop my fingers. I've already used that one up. So. Um, are you, have you gone over to join them, by the way? No, I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking to people okay. oh, at the party, Lord. and um, yep. I'm like... Yeah, we're raising money for charity. Did you want to contribute anything? Uh, I'm just going around to people. Make me a social check. This one. Is that can sort as well? Uh, probably, yeah. yeah. Or sway would also be, if you, yeah, you've got two and sway. Five. 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 Um, you get, you don't get much. You get some spare change and then like one spark, right, sort of takes a shine to you and he's like, you know, I do have a thing I could contribute. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> well, he whispers in your ear. You don't really understand. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I mean, if you've got it on you now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd, I'd have to show it to you later. But, uh, okay, we can do that later. Oh. Ring goes out. He looks, he, looks, <laughs> he looks absolutely delighted with himself. And he's like, dragged. <laughs> and so like, now, basically, he's just hanging around you because he's like... He do you, you want to go around and see if you can collect some money for a charity? It's a Christmas! <laughs> Make me another sweet shit. Five. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, but every third coin I'm having. That's okay. <laughs> you can take that. Great. And he, he basically goes off and he's just excitedly telling, he goes straight to his friends and he's like, <laughs> Give me the give me the money. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's quite busily like rounding up. Cash for you. Every now and again, I'm just like. <laughs> He's like, you do doing great. Oh, oh great. <laughs> Smashing. Okay, so the rest of you getting in the lift. Yeah, I uh, see them. I'm not. Okay, uh, what are you doing then? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. There's an access point where the service staff, service staff are coming out of, right? Yep. I'm gonna. Float on over there. Okay. Um, just glide. <laughs> I, yeah, I see her like floating down there, and just like follow her, like. Oh lord! Yes, you, you, you see, uh, you see, <laughs> greasy fingers heading for the um, the the service door. Uh, the two of you, uh, you get in the lift. It's kind of one of those ones with like a big cage. No one really pays attention. Like they assume you're finishing up shifts or something. Um, and then... I guess everyone here just looks dirty, right? So, <laughs> yeah. like, blend in fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, no, there's no real official uniform to the vast majority of the workers, the spark rights. Like, obviously they would have like safety gear when they're up, like maintaining the wall of nightning, but they're not now. They're getting well and truly lubricated. So you sort of, there's a, a big lever and you just kind of like throw it and the lift after a pause kind of there's a big spark above your heads and it starts to descend slowly what's in the lift nothing really it's just it's a it's a freight elevator there's no like crates or no 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 bolts. <laughs> <laughs> uh so you kind of go down and you sort of see it's about how many levels do you want to go down really 
Because it's kind of it's one of those lists that you can just throw you can throw the stop thing at any time. It's and not the sophisticated. Options. So you go down, you sort of see people bustling around, filling up the tankards with with ale, and then you sort of. I'm sort of I'm whispering to my to my compatriot here, and I'm like, I don't think we really need to care about the booze. It's the stuff right deep down that we need to have a look at. Yeah, I hear they keep the very special things down below. All right then. Okay, so you sort of you keep going, and at first it's like it's boring. It's like train parts, train parts, train parts, and then sort of it. It's actually very dimly lit, but to you it could be. It's like the golden rays of the sun because you're like. <laughs> This will do. Imagine, <laughs> imagine the sort of the bit at the end of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark where the old man's pushing the trolley, mm -hmm. just crates and crates and crates as far as the eye can see. And as you sort of come down, you also see there are a few lanterns swinging from men who are clearly on on <coughs> shift guarding this place. Um, and in fact, as you sort of come down, it reaches the bottom and goes clunk clunk, and uh, you hear one guy go, "Oh, lift's arriving." And there's probably some men on their way to you. How far away are they? Uh, from the sound of their footsteps, they're like, they're sort of a couple of aisles over. Like, they're about 50 foot away, probably. They're not proceeding especially quickly. They, like, that sort of, this arriving, was sort of like a, it was the gruff tones of a man who is past his prime, <laughs> can't be, can't really be asked for this cush, cushy job he's been given. And is also aware that he's missing out on a perfectly good party. Flashback. Okay. To <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> Jesus, lowlies. <laughs> I missed that, and I'm quite glad. <laughs> um, oh, it's me, isn't it? I'm the NPC. Wow. This is brutal. Yes. Uh, flashback to me at the on the floor of the party. Yep. Slipping a couple of tankards of booze into my jacket. Unbeknownst to the staff. Very deftly done. Yes. Yeah. You've you basically yeah, you come down, you've got a couple of steaming mugs of chestnut brown ale. Exactly that. Um Yeah, okay. Um Steaming mugs of chestnut A steaming pint of chestnut brown ale. <laughs> How good are you with people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I will consider myself a charismatic fellow. I just sort uh, of like dump them in your arms and then just slink off into the shadows. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, will, I will basically put my spirit mask on. Ooh. Uh, okay. And a sort of like a flashback uh, and of me saying like, whenever I have any trouble, I just like to lean into my authority. And oh, sort of right. basically like talking about how like <coughs> I've talked my way out of things before by pretending to come in to see to see to ghosts. Cool. So, Very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um that's, I'm not going to make you take any stress for that. Stress oh, is, is a thing that is bad for you, by the way. Funnily enough. It is. Thank you. Remember yeah, I'm very aware of it. This TED talk. It was a TEDx talk, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I loathe myself. Uh, okay, yeah, you, you slip on your mask, um, and basically your vision slips into the ghost field. So it's you can see everything as normal, but colours are slightly sort of... It's almost like the edges of solid objects are blurred a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you can see sort of the distant, shapeless forms of a few sort of ghosts floating around. Clearly there, clearly there are some restless spirits here. They are mostly just doing a quiet bit of haunting. Mm -hmm. They're not really, like, out to hurt anyone just yet. Mm -hmm. Important distinction. <laughs> <laughs> just they're kind of... They're just sort of, like, idling, basically. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, the, the sort of... The watchman comes along. He's, like, he's got a truncheon, like swinging from his hip and he's got a lantern and he just stops and goes you lost well, got some spirits for you nah just kidding there's some spirits over there <laughs> 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 I was, uh, just gonna was, was uh, just gonna take a look make sure there's nothing haunting around too much bothering the guests had a few complaints upstairs nobody told me there was going to be a ghost inspection uh happens happens on an as needed basis i'm afraid mate you know us lot, not too predictable. <laughs> oh, I don't really care to be perfectly honest. With you. Yeah, mate. Why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you take this? And I sort of hand him one of the tankards. Much obliged. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's half alive. Merciful. <laughs> 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 I didn't do it this time. Mm. This time. 
Um, yeah, he's sort of like, he sits down, he's having a pint, basically. Mm-hmm. He's not not watching you, but he's not trying to arrest you. So At this point, vision. I've already slinked into the dark. Oh, you're, you're trying yeah, to hide? Yeah. You've reversed you, it you made me a sneak. the wall. Uh, it'd be uh, prowl. prowl. I have three dice for that. Hello. Uh, that's Whoa. a six. Hey. Yeah, he doesn't even, doesn't even notice you. Like you're fair. Never do. You're like, <laughs> you're like, oh, I'm in a right lovely crack. <laughs> uh, also, you're like, if you hadn't heard, he wouldn't care. It's like, it's like, oh, but I'm gonna start checking through boxes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah, you're just gonna start. Uh, okay, so make me another prowl roll to to start looking in boxes without. Just imagine boxes. you writing your diary that evening. Going, oh, I found a really good cranny that Four. evening. Four. Okay. Was it a nook or a cranny? Yeah, it's up to debate. <laughs> okay, you uh, you open up a crate. You sort of like prise it open. And you push open the the lid, and you think to yourself like, "Oh, it's a jackpot." So it's it is basically like a small personal generator that would go on a backpack. You also see some like weird hooks that, that are almost like um, you know, they're almost like the barbed end of harpoons mm. um, and they have some gadgetry on it that's clearly something to do with a backpack and you see um, a gas mask and basically like this would be known to any of you as the, uh, the the stock and trade of the Deathlands scavengers these are a faction who make their living out of exploring the Deathlands bringing artifacts back basically they are they are willing to go where nobody else dare um, and this is the stuff they need to survive and on uh, to an unscrupulous person such as yourself, this represents a lot of money. This is worth loads, um, loads of money. And you, you, you basically, <laughs> like, you, you almost you sort of lean on a crate, and you're like, oh, that is absolutely. You're like, oh, look at you. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> the the crate you lean on is very very light, and as you lean, you kind of oh, it slips, it tumbles, and it falls to the ground with a large clatter. Um, next to you, the guard with the, the mug is like, what was that? And um, he puts the mug down, he starts going over there. We're going to snap back to these two, if it's all right, and then I'll come back to you. So, remind me, you're just in a party. Yeah. She's just left through the servants. Service. Yes. I was yeah. going down the servants. Uh, an imperious looking man comes up to you in sort of a, a, a jacket with tails. He goes, you're late. What time do you call this? We've been serving for two hours. Oh, yes. Sorry. Good sir. <laughs> well, <laughs> God, man, are you sick? I've got no use for sick workers. No, it's nothing. Really, just a, just a mulling a well, cough. Well, I'm docking your pay anyhow. Get a train. Get, get going. No, of course, of course. And you. He like <laughs> slivers down the hallway. <laughs> um, you see the man sort of like he's he didn't even touch you, but he's like yeah. <laughs> the, the is, oh. just the air around you. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he, he smells like chip oil. <laughs> <laughs> like that really needs a change. Yeah. 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 <sighs> God, I actually feel a bit queasy. Uh, okay, so yeah, you uh, you go along sort of. You see, there's one man whose job, just sole job it is, is to like turn the tap and just fill tankard after tank. He's sliding yeah, yeah, yeah. down the bar. There are people sort of picking up the tankards. I've been there. Um, one of them, yeah. And one of them turns, he was like, I don't know why they couldn't fetch you them bloody cells. I mean, the spark rights, they're all right normally, but this is ridiculous. I've had my ass grabbed four times. <laughs> well, you know, I understand. I've had my arse grabbed six times. <laughs> you see them sort of just go. Anyway. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> I've been asked by a very important person. I won't say their name. To uh, bring up, you know, the good stuff. The uh, finest liquors you got. <laughs> If, if someone's asking bespoke for spirits, you got to go down there. Oh, of course. Talk to Clyde. He's in. He's he's the v- 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 vintner. <laughs> <laughs> they laugh Clyde. Their own joke. <laughs> yeah, Clyde. Yeah. Thank you, my pretty. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Are you sure they grabbed your ass? <laughs> <laughs> like this, they, they finish loading up their tray and they just sweep out. Yeah, yeah they're gone. <laughs> a, 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 a lick. Like, they spill some beer. Yeah. yeah. The man who talks to you was like, oh, be careful there. Mm. Um, and then sort of sees you and is like, no lollygagging, get on with it. And he, like, picks up the piece of it as much as he can. <laughs> He's gonna, not as young as he used to be. You're you know? going to go see Clyde? Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, on the way, uh-huh. do I see any like nice bits of silverware or something? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and get a bit in the old... Make me a roll. You determine the um, skill. What, what do I roll for this? Um... It would probably be something like Prowl. Okay. Um, or... You or finesse would also work. I don't have that. Uh, so what do you have? Single die in prowl. I have prowl. <laughs> oh, prowl is perfect. Prowl is is big One sneaky. One die. <laughs> it's better than not having any dots. Yeah. If you don't have any dots, you roll two dice and take the lower result. So oh. it's pretty bad. Usually he gets other people to do these things for it, but he just takes the chance. Yeah. You know? Go for it. Oh, oh. <laughs> you you are so convinced that oh you get gosh. you're getting you're getting away with it. You sort of pass a, a dinner service, <laughs> and there is a particularly fine like silver tankard oh, that has clearly God. been sent back by an important person from the Spark Rides, okay. um, in order to be refilled and brought to him, especially. Um, and you you palm it like you were born to do this because you're pretty sure you were, mm. but just as you're slipping it into your jacket. <coughs> It catches, and the high, you're just not, you know, you don't get a chance to steal so many highly polished things, and a glint of light catches off it, um, and you hear the man who was bothering you before yell, "Stop, thief!" Um, and there is the clatter of, of feet running towards you. Um, oh, I've not been setting. I always, always do this. I meant to set level and effect okay. things for this, by the way. Uh, so if I don't do that, remind me. Uh, but suffice it to say, there are Nelson men coming to hurt you. Okay. What are you going to do, <laughs> Greasy Fingers? Oh dear, this character is not built for this sort of thing. Um, I'm going to... Hmm, I'm going to drop it. Uh-huh. Uh, and... <laughs> I'm going to fall over it into a fit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, just be like, oh. Okay, you're going to pretend to be suddenly stricken ill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, with a mind to just stopping them from beating you up. Just to look as pathetic as possible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so make me some form of, I mean, you, you always declare what the skill is. Uh, I would imagine this is sort of, what, I mean, what skills do you have? What's consort? Do you know, consort would be, consort is like basically, uh, it's a social thing like persuade or yeah. consorting with your friends. Um, I'm gonna, I'm going to allow this. You can use consort, okay? Because um, you're be trying to convince lovely. people, basically. Yes. This is a desperate role. It is with a limited effect. Okay. Yeah. I you're mean, you're really I'm, in. Yeah, of course. You're trouble. on a certain <laughs> river without a certain. You trouble. did nothing. I'm not with you right now. Yeah, I'm you are. You followed me. I fu- to a certain point, I'm oh, not involved. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> you got out where you could. Uh. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, six, great. Um, okay, well, let's see ya. Uh, so, no, that's, that's actually, it's it's not bad. Uh, they sort of, they catch up to you, and just before they're about to lower their billy clubs, basically, and start beating the tar out of you, you hear one go, whoa, 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 hang on a minute, lads. I think this one's sick. Um... Mm. And you hear the imperious man just be like, well, bang him in a back room, tie him up or something. He's not getting away with this. Um, so instead of instead of having the crap kicked out, <laughs> yeah. your hands are tied behind your back. Okay. Um, and they sort of, they carry you like a sack of potatoes while you sort of continue to pretend to, to uh, be seriously ill. So many forks fall out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You basically you clatter and jingle your like, way. Like not just forks, <laughs> like just <laughs> loads of stuff, <laughs> like like yo-yos, like sweets. Just real, some real crap. Okay, so you get thrown in a storeroom. You hear the key turn in the lock, um, and you, you hear the the uh, the man like who who was telling you off before just like looks and goes pathetic, and he stalks away. You are now bound in a locked room 
Uh, you've probably seen this. Or well, at least at I don't some know because promotion. I have. You didn't go down. Okay, there, then you've got no idea this has yep. happened. Nobody knows well, I, that that's so what's happened. My idea, idea was, was to me. <laughs> my idea was that I followed him to to the door, like kind of just behind, and then I obviously saw that he like got rejected from going through the service. Well, no, I got through. Got through. I got through. I just messed up. I thought the man stopped you. No, 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 he he was was like, you're late, come Come on on in. Oh, right, I totally misunderstood that then. (laughs) Yep. Um, You're an elf. Well, my plan was, I thought they didn't get through. He he didn't get through, and that I then, like, went and did something else. Okay. um, Um. Is there's not like a chimney that goes down? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I only go level to level yeah. by a chimney. Is this yeah. the only <laughs> way you no. transport yourself? Okay. No, no, and in fairness, uh, Greasy Fingers is on the same floor as you. Uh, oh no, you went no, down, down a level. Yeah. Oh, down a level. Technically, Sorry. yeah. Yeah. Sorry. You did. Yeah. Well, I went into the service quarters, i.e., quarters, yeah. the kitchen slash booms. Okay, house. let's just say I went into the. What's the, oh, what you're the in the storeroom room, store room of uh, where there's like a small cask of wine, by the way. But and you're fairly sure the key is down the lock. Oh, wait, that's okay. Carry on. But the man didn't speak to me, did he? He only spoke no. to Greasy Fingers. Yeah, he only spoke to Greasy Fingers. Okay, so let's just say I went in. Pa- yeah, you got them. waved in in a similar fashion. Like, Come on! Okay. Those those just, those tankards aren't going to serve themselves! Can I just be like eating, like. <laughs> I thought you were going to say. Hors d'oeuvres. Like, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, you can. Those asses aren't going to be slap themselves. And then I guess. It cross my mind. And then I guess because I, I probably did see that happen then, if I was in there. Yeah. Um, is there a window? Are you you're in a storage room, so it's probably just a, a wooden door, I guess. Yeah, right? it's just a wooden door. Okay. Can I just open it, or is it locked? I did just say the keys in the lock, Sorry. actually. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. no. I, that was to me. be like, oh, I did just... Uh, you can try and go and do it undetectedly. Um, yeah, let's do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why not? So... This would be, uh, like, this is a one of your prowess stats. You explain to me what the stat is and how you're doing it, and I will let you roll it if it sounds sensible. Because I notice you haven't got prowl. Nope. So... I've got I'm finesse. Sure. That's the only thing I've then got explain to me how you're trying to finesse this door open. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just going to I'm just gonna prowl. Okay. So I'm you're going to roll 2d6 and take the worst result. Yeah. Oh. That's fine, you might, oh, you might get that. <laughs> that? Oh, can I miss this? Um, can you take two stress for me, Ian? Sorry, I should have given you that as part of your catas- catastrophe. I mean, yeah, it is quite stressful. Yeah. Do you, then you get a um, XP when you roll as desperate. You do, yeah. yeah. So just remember that for when we're done with this score. Is that what this is? Uh, that, yes, you can sort of mark it. Cool. So I got uh, a success with... Uh, you, yeah, you don't... Yeah. Oh uh, no! You do mark it immediately. It was it's a, it was a success with uh, consort. No you, no, you rolled a desperate consort. So yeah, you mark one XP in resolve. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Great. Sorry. Uh, okay. So basically, yeah, you manage to sneak up and you sort of stand there like I'm so sweet and innocent, and then like click, <laughs> turn the, the key in the lock behind you, um, and you just hear greasy fingers be like. Bah, 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 bah. In the room beyond. I'm like, hello! <laughs> so wait, you've opened it? Yeah. It's unlocked. You roll a two. Hmm? Yeah, I rolled a two. You take the worst result! Yeah! Oh. Sorry! Okay. Oh, mate! I was wondering, I was like, that seems pretty good. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, no, you, oh, you do not do this at all! Okay. <laughs> you, basically, uh, if any of you were in a position to watch, you would see I've kind of go like, <laughs> dramatically drop into a crouch and start crouch running <laughs> <out of the door. laughs> um, and unfortunately as you near the storage door somebody rounds the corner with a tray and you barrel straight into them um, you slip on, basically the floor is now soaked in beer and you slip um, and basically as you come down you give your head a really good crack on the back um, and I want you to take level 2 harm concussed so you would write it in there. You can resist this. Um, to make a resistance roll, you roll one d six, and you take you take six stress minus your highest die result. That's level three harm. I'm not trying to oh, kill you. Oh, sorry, I didn't understand. You can how make it. Works. You can make it to level one harm by resisting it, but you could take as up to six stress, which would be bad. I'm pretty much concussed anyway, so this, <laughs> this is not. Okay. A huge deal. So yeah, you are you are. Like, <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Was like. um, you, <laughs> you the man sort of who was yelling at uh, Greasy Fingers before, towers over you and goes, you imbecile! Sorry! I cannot believe... Oh, 
Oh. He gets so <laughs> he gets absolutely he gets so frustrated. He picks you up by the front of your shirt, throws open the door, throws you in on top of Greasy Jack, uh, a Greasy Finger, sorry, and locks the door behind you. I'm a tinkerer. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine when you were trying to sneak, I imagine you're like cronk on the every <laughs> I just imagine like you're you're actually sneaking very well, but you've got bells on the end yeah. of your shoes. Yeah, I like, definitely do. <laughs> okay, uh, so you're now both imprisoned. Good. Well, you cut, back <laughs> to, cut back to the Basilaint. There is a guard on their way uh, to find you. I'm going to start a clock. So as the as 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 this moment that I noticed the guard looking toward uh, where looking green is, yeah. <laughs> um, I immediately sort of like step forward and gently gently put a long crooked hand on the guard. No, whoa, 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 easy mate, easy mate. Don't want you to hurt yourself. Just uh, just just stop there for a moment. What are you talking about? I adjust the spirit mask and I kind of uh, I get out a fine lightning hook and I'm like wait wait I, uh, I've had a little 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 bit to drink but I think there's might be something there and I sort of like just protectively like just pushing pushing back a little bit okay. something unseen something uh, terrible I'm getting an M. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. have you, did you have did you have a mother? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, make me some form of uh, probably a social role at this point when uh, it would so be resolve. Would sway be one? Sway is absolutely. Sort of persuading. I'm going to avoid these dice because they clearly curse. Mm. <laughs> it was six. It was just, it was just a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was going to let you finesse it. Uh, so, so it's so it's, it's one. Have, so it's one dice by default, and then one additional dice for each at that point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, basically, just as many dots as you have. That's how many dice you roll. Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, Yay! Oh, that is <laughs> okay, the guard practically leaps into your arms. Like, oh, you're joking. Oh, God. Oh, no, no. Oh, Bill! Bill! <laughs> he calls for his colleague who comes clattering over. Um, you basically, you're, you're all sort of frozen on top of these crates, and you watch as the points of light go further away from where you came from. You're like. <laughs> Ooh, um, okay. Sort of um, cottoning on to what's happening. Yeah. I pick up a few like random bits of tat and start throwing them around the room like a poltergeist. <laughs> I want to scare these guards blind. Outstanding. Okay. Uh, make me a roll. Um. Oh, well, well, staying hidden, right? Can I just prowl it still? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hang well, on. Finesse. How many dots do you have? I have three. Oh, you have marked your starting dots. Okay. Yeah. No mind, Sorry. I can see the others. Uh, would, would you say that was finesse? Uh, I can finesse or prowl. I think finesse is probably okay. the right one. Two dice. That is a four. Ooh. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. So basically, like it, it works. The, basically, one of them speeds up. The other one starts clutching at your <laughs> at your jacket, to be like, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" Uh, uh, but, uh, they, would I know her name? <laughs> they're getting more panicked, and basically, I've started a six-piece clock, which is called the guard sounds the alarm. Mm -hmm. They're getting a bit panicky, uh, which is obviously what you intended. But uh, they are one step closer to just calling the alarm and making the entire building, basically, putting the entire building on alert. <laughs>